road trip goes to the Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument along the U.S.-Mexico border just south of Ajo, Arizona. This visitor center is named for a park ranger killed by a drug cartel in 2002. The Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument protects the only place in the U.S. where the Oregon Pipe Cactus grows naturally. It is now recognized by UNESCO as a biosphere reserve. Two dirt roads head off from the visitor center toward the eastern and western halves of the monument. The one-way drive loops back toward the state highway right around the trailhead for Arch Canyon. Starting from the Arch Canyon trailhead, head into the canyon on a well-beaten trail until you get to a sign warning of illegal immigration and smuggling. Please be aware of your surroundings at all times and do not travel alone in remote areas. Dial 911 to report suspicious activity. Stay right as left seems to go deeper into the canyon and head up a steep but well cairn trail to higher ground. At the start of the incline, much of the trail is on bare rock, so these cairns are essential for guidance. Further up, the overgrown greenery growing on this perennially shady slope obscures the pathway, so take your time to spot the next cairn before proceeding. As you near the top, you will have to use your hands to help stabilize or boost yourself up. Watch where you put your hands though. There may be sharp plants or scary arachnids or snakes. The struggle isn't over once you reach the top. You'll climb down a similarly steep slope before traversing to the arch. Since most people don't make it this far, finding the trail is particularly difficult here. Slow down and look for markers and the continuation of the trail. Bird life is abundant in the canyon, with cactus wren, quail, and owls sometimes visible. The view of the surrounding canyon walls is impressive, as is the extreme quiet that is evident everywhere in the Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. This area is far from any air corridors or military bases, so planes are rare. The arch is about a half mile away from the trailhead, so it looks small but it actually measures over 700 feet long and 36 feet high. It was formed by the successive freezing and thawing of water amid cracks in the rocks, and it is actually a double arch with a small opening above the main arch. The arch looks much larger up close and is pretty cool, and you can almost see the entirety of the Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument from here. As your heart rate slows down and you look down on the tiny cars in the lot below, you can really appreciate how far you've climbed. Beyond the green rivers of vegetation, you can see the Puerto Blanco and Bates Mountains. While the ascent is harder physically, the descent to the base of the canyon is more dangerous and takes almost the same amount of time as you negotiate the steepest sections. Follow the stone cairns once again to stay on the safest route. Use your hands to stabilize yourself and walk with your body angled sideways and your feet perpendicular to the trail for maximum traction. When you reach the bottom of the slope and the maintained trail, the rest of the way back is a breeze. Now on to the second hike of the day, the Bull Pasture SS Canyon Trail. This hike starts on the Bull Pasture Trail, which gradually climbs up into the Ajo Mountains with views extending all over the Oregon Pipe National Monument and into Mexico. The 
The path starts at the SS Canyon picnic area and is best hike in the anti-clockwise direction since the elevation gain is more gradual and the views are better at the start. This path ascends steadily, first to a ridge overlooking SS Canyon and then to the final viewpoint at Bull Pasture. The return is via another path that descends into the canyon and follows a dry wash back to the trailhead. You'll cross plenty of dry washes and watch out for the cairns that mark the trail. You'll find lots of wildflowers in the spring like poppies and brittle brush. The trail offers little shade in summer, so bring plenty of water. Unlike its cousin the Sawaro, the organ pipe is more bushy with multiple arms all growing simultaneously toward heaven like the pipes of a church organ. The organ pipe is also a night owl, drawing visitors like lesser long-nosed bats to pollinate its flowers. This cactus can live in the sun-blasted desert for 150 years or more at a time. Finally, the monument is quite safe especially if you stay on marked roads or hiking trails. In fact, I encourage you to visit this far-flung monument because if you do, you may be inspired to advocate for the enforcement of existing laws that keep it protected.